Back here at home, they have already lost their beaches and now some are losing their land. Now some Lake Erie homeowners are trying to turn the tide in a losing battle. For those who live along the lake, record high water levels and continued erosion have forced them to find expensive and logistically challenging solutions. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg was in Euclid today showing us one homeowner's predicament. Here at this lakefront property in the city of Euclid, not only can you tell the impact from erosion, but also high water levels on Lake Erie. These massive stones were put in more than a decade ago. And over time, the water has taken some of them out to the lake and even broken some of them in half. Now the property owners worry that all of this water and all of this force is gonna take his deck with it. The lake is angry. But this tantrum is minor. In the fall be gale force winds. Like any parent, Randy Keefe. You have to be protected from like every angle. Is trying to see this tantrum through. As individual property owners up and down the lake, we're just into self-preservation, really. We're all trying to figure out ways to protect ourselves from, uh, from Mother Nature and Lake Erie. The 15 feet of beach he had 15 years ago is gone and through erosion and the relentless assault of water, the brake wall installed by the previous owner more than a decade ago. Bypasses, the more that bypasses, the more gap is created. Is failing. So this has really come on within the last year, year and a half, where the lake levels come up so quickly. So there's a lot of property owners along here who um, are having to move quickly to even try to get a temporary permit to do the work. That work isn't cheap. And because the houses are so close together, it isn't easy either. Contractors will be forced to bring in a barge to haul more 6,000 pound stones to shore. The $40,000 endeavor is all in an effort to protect the seawall, his deck, and his property. And there are homeowners along here who have lost parts of their seawall. Once it gets through the seawall, then it's coming, you know, it's starting to undermine your, basically the cliff that is your backyard. Like a petulant child, the lake's tantrums continue, and Keefe is worried that this isn't just a phase. That seems to be the new norm that uh, we're dealing with as far as lake levels. In Euclid, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.